Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I want to talk about the Uniden R7 radar detector. If you're not familiar with radar detector, this is one of the best out there, if not the best. There's three top contender, and this is one of them. The other are Valentine Gen 2 and the Red Line 360. The Uniden with the latest firmware update has performed really well. And if you're not familiar with radar detector, this is one of the longest range radar detector that can detect, I heard, up to four or five miles in advance of any threat. Um, so any potential speed trap, red light cameras, as well as highway patrol, police, and any sheriff that have their radar gun ready to trap you within any speed limit. So. As long as you're not speeding, you should be fine. But at least you have a peace of mind that if you need to overtake somebody on the fast lane, um, you're not going too much over the speed limit. Because there are times where, especially in EVs, specifically Tesla, um, when you're overtaking somebody, it accelerates so hard and so quickly with no delays, you can hit... 80, 90 miles per hour on the highway, even though the speed limit is 65, 70. You, you're just um, not aware of it, um, especially if you're just coming off of a gas vehicle. So this will save you from getting a ticket uh, in case if you're not fully aware. And especially with the Model 3 and Y, the speed odometer is not right there in front of you. You don't have a head on display. And there are times where I'm driving on long stretch of highway and there's no one around me and sometimes I just go with the flow of traffic but there are times where I lose track of how fast I'm going and that's just driving fatigue over time um, now if you're on autopilot and you set a fixed speed you should be fine this just gives you that extra layer of protection and if you're not aware a speeding ticket can range between 380 to $500. That's before traffic school. Add on another 150 for traffic school. So you're looking more at 650 or so. So this radar detector will pay for itself with just one ticket. So let's go ahead and unbox this and talk about the feature. So within this R7, this just came out uh, over a year and a half to two years ago. Fairly new radar detector with the latest technology. It does come with this nice case. And we'll do another video on mounting this in a Tesla on how we plan to mount this. There's two different ways uh, without having to tap into your internal power wire behind your rear mirror. Uh, Cause that is a little tricky, but it is possible, but we'll do it the direct way and just run the wire through the 12 volt. So within this Uniden R7 kit, it does come with a couple options. Um, you have a cup mount, and I highly recommend the cup mount. From what I heard, this is more secure um, on your windshield, okay? It also sticks on the white interior dash of the three and the Y pretty strongly as well. Um, and as well as the, the windshield. Here's the power wire. You have your direct mute icon and also a USB here where you can provide direct update if you bring your laptop with Wi-Fi connection. So they don't have Bluetooth, unlike the Redline 360 and the Valentine Gen 2. So that's the only downfall I find with this radar detector. There's no way to connect directly to your smart devices. So you have here a USB to a micro USB and this is for software update. You only need to do that when there is a software update or when you just purchase the device. The other suction cup 
is a dual suction cup. I heard that this is not as stable as the single cup. So I do not recommend using this. We'll try it out, but from the look at it, it looks very, very slimly designed. And it just looks tacky from my perspective, because once you use this suction cup onto the windshield from the outside, you, you won't see a seamless installation. And they also give you some Velcro for, I guess if you want to just straight up mount it on your dash, but the dash of the three and the Y is too low. And you also have that display in the middle blocking the rear radar. Okay, so now let's take a look at the actual radar itself. It does have this nice case in case you want to take it to go in the rental car. You can. Something to think about um, when you're traveling. Some say this is a cheap design, but it feels very premium. It has a soft texture. And this is the quick release for the mount. So how you do that is you put the suction cup mount in and it connects. Very sturdy and secure. No wobbling at all. Okay. And then to release, push down on the button to go. I heard this suction cup was a little wobbly I think it's due to the suction cup, not the actual clip mount itself to the device. Yeah, it's on here pretty sturdy. So the flimsiness of this mount is likely due to the suction cup not being strong enough. It has a matte finish screen, so you won't have any finger smear there. These touch buttons are also matte, so you won't be able to scratch it, but it does have that nice soft texture design. This is made in Korea. Surprisingly, not China. And there's your power phone. It's not a phone line, but that's how you power this up. And then you run this cord to your 12 volt. It should be long enough, but if you're running this to the top of your headliner where your rear mirror is, you would definitely need to purchase a longer extension cord. And I'll post a link where you can find this. You will lose out on this instant mute. So something to think about, or you can buy an attachment and then run it through this cord. Here's the speaker grill. That looks like a speaker grill. Looks like this output on both sides here. This looks more to be a vent. And the speaker is actually on this side. Yeah, this looks to be more of a vent. Same thing with down here. I'll take this off after I install it. Um, this could be another sensor. I don't think this is a light. And then here's your micro USB where you plug in along with your PC. And then you go to Uniden website to download the latest software. So we'll do that before we install it. Otherwise, that is it for this package. So remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and in the next video or in the future video, we'll show how we mount this in the Tesla Model Y performance. Catch you all next time. Take care.